HP's acquisitions don't always get the best press. Indigo is different. It makes digital presses for packaging, publishing and pictures, and it's proved a brilliant buy. By doing digitally what even today is often done on traditional printing presses, Indigo has turned itself into one of HP's fastest growing and most profitable businesses. Alon Barshani was finance director when Indigo was bought 12 years ago. Now in charge, he says HP and Indigo were a great fit. Acquisitions in many cases fail because of a cultural misalignment or operational misunderstandings. Frankly, the first few years were not easy, but I think both HP and Indigo had a strong vision, a strong commitment to the Indigo uh, potential and a strong commitment to the customers. Indigo cost HP less than a billion dollars and has grown sales fivefold in 10 years. Other acquisitions have proved more costly. In 2008, HP paid $13 billion for EDS and then wrote down $8 billion. Palm, bought for a $1 billion, took a $3 billion hit. HP then paid $10 billion for autonomy, only to write down 90% of the cost. The only red ink at Indigo is what comes out of its presses, which can cost up to $2 million. They're expensive machines. There's a global install base of about 6,000 units. Um, they have over 60% market share. They've been a share taker. And so HP has executed really well with this acquisition. Being so big, Indigo has had to create new markets to grow. Coke's campaign to put popular names on a billion bottles used Indigo presses. Other brands are considering getting personal too. If only Indigo was more than 1% of HP's revenues, the company would be in a much better place. Elliot Gotkin, Bloomberg, Nesiona, Israel.